Okay, drivers. Um, today we got a 2006 Mitsubishi, and I will be replacing a lower control arm on the driver's side. Okay, so just take a little time with me, and I'm gonna show you to do it step by step. All right. So the first thing I do is get a jack, you know, uh, a good enough jack to jack up the car. Just always make, make sure I jack up the car. I usually do it from the front because I want to get enough space to at least um, get to the control arm, okay? Okay, usually then after I move the um, the driver side wheel sometimes these nuts is easy to it's, it's not easy I mean hard to come off so I gotta spray it all right just in case I always have one of these um, pen, oil penetrate okay or you could get a WD-40 After you take off the nuts, just take off the wheel. Okay, we gotta get to the control arm. As you can see, the control arm is right there. Underneath here. Okay? Which is this. Control arm is right here. I'll show you more on that though. There's another thing I want to show you guys. You know, this is the control arm, but since, I, since I'm changing the control arm, I'm going to change the sway bar link, which is this. This little piece right here, I'm going to change this also. Because that's important. It makes sense to change the control arm and don't change this, you know. So I'm just going to change this. This is called the sway bar link. Okay. So before I start to, I'm going to just make sure I spray these up with oil, with the oil penetrate. Because sometimes the bolt is... The bolt is all to come off, you know, make sure you spray everything up. Even the control arm, I got to spray to make it easier to come off. Okay, safety first. Always remember, get a safety jack stand, okay? You need two, you need actually a second jack stand. And like, as you can see where I put it, I put it between the, um, the steer bar, we call it the steering link, which is this. The ball giant and the um, brakes um, back bracket. It's not a bracket, but just always put. Find the safest place to put a jack stand. You could put it just the safest place because once you remove the control arm, the um, wheel gonna drop down. So this is safety. Always make sure put this before you do anything. Before you start remove the control arm. Okay, the control arm, arm of like three bolts. One is right here, which is this. One is right here. Next one is right there. And the other one is at the other corner over there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you as much as I can show you guys, but you know, when I'm on it, the car is kinda a little difficult. Okay. okay people so the next thing you're gonna do is take off the sway bar link first before I get to the control arm. So I'm gonna do right now. It's supposed to be like a 14 or a, you can use a 916. Let's 
kind of dry rotten so got to take off that bolt first okay um so um right now um i um take off the top bolt from the swear ball link as you can see right here it's shaking right now right here you got another bolt you don't need you guys don't need to remove this because since you're taking off the control arm it's already disconnect from here all right from this um part from the vehicle another control arm you know going underneath the vehicle so you don't need to waste your time to take off this since you're gonna re replace a new control arm and the reason why i say always replace a new sway ball link because look you see this is break already so you're gonna need a new sway ball link okay all right okay guys so i take off one of the um bolts already i'm gonna take off the other one Actually, that's the wrong size. Sometimes the bolt is so tight you can't even get it off, so you gotta try to spray it again. And give it at least a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, so just in case you're having a hard time taking off the bolt with the um, power gun, what I recommend you to do get a breaker bar like this if you have one, okay, to take off the arm um, bolt. All right, cause sometimes it's very hard. Even though it's a, you got a power gun, it's still hard. So you gotta get a breaker bar. Okay, thank you. So what I did, guys, after I, I break the, the, the nut with the breaker bar, then I could use the gun to take it off easier, you know? Nice and easy, just like that. Okay, so always um take off the ball joint, this one right here, because you're gonna be let the arm um, control arm so easy to take off. So just remember to take off the ball joint. Okay, we'll take off that one. So actually guys you don't really have to really move this but sometimes you make it easier so just in case you have a hard time take off the control arm usually what i do i move this and i have more space to knock out the bolt from underneath here which is the last bolt you know usually i leave leave this one for last to the wheel but right now as you can see what i do i keep this on the control arm still and i try to um knock this out i'll take time rack it out Okay, sometimes you have, if it's stuck in here, inside this hole, try to wrap the wheel like this and you get it out easier, okay? So this is the control arm and I'm going to try to knock it out from the last bolt, okay? Okay guys, so right now, I removed the control arm, so what I'm going to do, this is the new control arm right now. So remember this, this is a sway bar link, you're going to need this, always replace this first. Okay, put in your screw. Just remember, put in your screw. 
at least you know you got a new sway ball link and a new control arm all right so just as how you remove the control arm the same way you just replace the new one all right so wish you guys luck on this it's not an easy job but you just have to take your time and have patience all right if you guys are interested just hit the the bell to get notification whenever i put up things like these to replace parts all right thank you have a blessed day